name is Richard, and it's a pleasure to be here as best man today, because it means Phil's finally accepted he's not the best at something. <laughs> but he's been telling me for years now, I'm better than you, I'm better than that person. Okay, so the first time he said to me, you're the best man. So I'm going to save that for as long as I possibly can. Okay? Um, uh, on a serious note, I'd like to echo his thoughts. It's been a fantastic day. Um, Bridesmaids, you all look beautiful earlier on. Okay, Ellie. <laughs> 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 you wait till later. <laughs> speech because now I've got to try and live up to that. You've made a lot more pressure on my heart. But your words were superb. Phil, you managed to not swear, so that's a reward for everybody. Hey. Um, <laughs> but I know you all say it's been a fantastic day and long will it carry on for the rest of the evening. So and on to I ended up standing here as Phil's best man, which most people said, why has he chosen you? Um, and for me, it's because number one, I don't argue with him, I just say yes Phil, we move on. <laughs> and number two, when he's in a mood, I'll shut up. Okay, most people might try and go back, I'll keep myself quiet. But believe it or not, before Phil ran around telling every rugby player that he was better than them, he was going to show them how old and rubbish they were, he was going to make them lose their spot, he was going to make them retire, okay? He was once described by my mum as the best behaved beaver in the local school. <laughs> <laughs> and a lovely little boy. Oh, <laughs> I can assure you, she doesn't have Alzheimer's yet. <laughs> it is believable. Uh, um, last year. <laughs> <laughs> but as Phil went through, he became a little bit more vocal about things, and people knew who he was much quicker. Uh, apparently he was quite good at swimming. I don't know because I was terrible, so I was never there. But when it came to playing rugby, he was a handy player. And he thought he was better than everyone else, and he made sure they knew. Luckily for me, this meant every time I got into trouble, he was there to sort it out. Because I'm quite good at starting a fight, but don't want to have any intention of doing it. <laughs> Luckily, the one time it went too far, Phil was there to punch the person in the face, get a red card, and get sent off for the rest of the game whilst I carried on. Yeah. Also, luckily for me, we both said sorry to each other, and I'm still here today. But it was a perfect sign of how Phil has always been fighting for me, because I'm too weak. <laughs> um, and that's how we've got there. That's how we've got there. But um, around the same time, uh, Phil was captain of the local club. Now, if anyone didn't know him at this point, you didn't miss much. Right? <laughs> he is very, very angry, and I think he set a record for the most burnt bridges in a year by a human being, to which I had the joy of trying to go around and sort them all out and make everyone feel okay about it. But since he's met you, Ella, that stopped. There's been a lot of calm aside to him, and he's calmed down um, and really become a much more uh, mature man, shall we say. Someone who does think a little bit first, which is so good to see. Even on the stag do, he was calm. Now, I don't want to say too much about the stag do. Adam, I can assure you I will speak to you again, but if you tell me that you're never above me, never below me, and always with me anymore. <laughs> Okay, and I'm pretty sure the people of Pride are still wondering what three Mexicans, Rocky Balboa, a six foot leprechaun, and a giant inflatable penis have to do with Pride. <laughs> I assure you, none of us had a clue, but somehow no one beat us up, we didn't get chucked out of anywhere, and everyone managed to get home on the flight, okay? So it was a grand success in that time. Um, on to a serious note, Phil has always been a fantastic friend, he's always been there for me. Um, and this is how it was really easy to spot when Ella had clearly won his heart, because he was a bloke, he pretended he didn't like her, and he said, she's well all right. <laughs> <laughs> that was his way of saying to me, that was his way of saying, I, I really like this one, but I'm not quite ready to admit that yet, because he'd spent five years telling all of us in relationships, you're an idiot, I can do what I want. <laughs> so Ella, I think the impact you had was instantaneous, okay? Um, he did describe you to me, and I said, is that the mouthy one that came to watch the rugby a couple of years ago? <laughs> and he went, yeah, yeah, but no, 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 she's different now, she's different now. And I can agree, from that experience, you are a completely different person now. And between the two of you, you've developed into wonderful people. Okay? Um, I think, you know, you're set for success as a couple in the future. Okay? You're going to have a great time together. You've got loads of people here who can't wait to see you develop as a couple. Okay, I don't have any marital advice because I haven't got married. But all I'll say is keep doing, keep doing what you're doing together because over three years has worked superbly for both of you. 
and I'd like all of you to be upstanding for me as we toast the bride and groom. Yeah. Yeah. To the bride and groom. <laughs> 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 that went very much. <laughs>